Okay, Lisa, we're here. We've been here before. Different kind of story this time. Very different. But always powerful. It's always powerful to be in this square, to look at this, the colonnade. But this time, there's such a specific ask from the indigenous community. But keep in mind, only 32 members are here. And I, I'm, I'm never sort of losing that thought that this is such a small representation yeah. of the indigenous community, uh, those who wanted to be part of it, those who don't support it. There's a lot of layers to this. What struck me is, uh, you know, a lot of the delegates here, it's a very serious reason they're here. But they're also taking the opportunity to sort of breathe. And, and I, we used the word exhale on the broadcast last night, and that's really the sense I got. There was a lot of, we're here. Yeah, I think that the, this has been in the works for so long anticipating, planning, discussing with the Canadian bishops, discussing within their own communities. What were the things? If you've got three minutes with the Pope, what are you going to say in those three minutes? Out of a lifetime of experiences, most of these experiences that were 60 and 70 years ago, and that's what really hit me, is um, I love that there are grandchildren here and children of survivors because this really is an intergenerational uh, crisis, really, uh, for the Indigenous community. And bearing witness to something like this, it is hard to accept that they have to come here. The abuse happened to them on Canadian soil in church-run schools they come to Rome. Now I know that it's all about the Pope coming to Canada. But Protocol. When you would, when you go to, they don't seem. A lot of the community that we've spoken to, they don't seem so bothered by that. No. Maybe it's because this is such a wow place to be and powerful place to be. Well, you know, the irony is, you know, anyone who's Catholic knows that you're taught when when you've done wrong, you're supposed to ask for forgiveness. And when you ask someone for forgiveness, you go to them, sort of hat in hand, you know, palms wide open, and you ask for forgiveness. But in this in this situation, uh, you know, the the ones who did wrong are asking the what the indigenous to come here. The other thing that struck me, and Jill Macashon talked about this in her story last night. The Pope is 85. Angie Creer is 85. Yeah. One of the survivors. So many of them are elderly. And you think about the fact that the, the, the difference in two lives, same age, these experiences from a lifetime ago that are still so present to this day, but the word survivors has taken on new meaning for me as well with all these conversations we've had. And I know this sounds a bit cliche, but they're not just surviving, they're thriving. The people we're meeting. But that's not to say that we haven't been to um, First Nations communities that have abysmal housing, no clean water, it's too expensive to get food in, um, good, good quality food. All of these things that are still every day, the year 2022, for Indigenous communities. And you can trace it all back to that same situation back in the 1800s, really, when they first said, let's take these kids from their homes and put them in these schools. And for all those viewers who, who wonder why we're here, why CTV National News is here, because we've had these conversations. On, honestly, for, for Canada, there's really no bigger story uh, at this time for, for Canadians because even it's though this is a stained story yeah, over these are, decades, over a hundred and a half years. And there, there are 32 delegates here. 1.4 million Catholics in Canada, but even if you're not Catholic, even if you're not Indigenous, uh, th this story is about is also about Canada and who we are as people. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. I am fascinated because I, I see that uh, you know the Washington Post has picked up these stories as well of the Indigenous here, because there's such a difference between the you know American Indians as they're still referred to mm -hmm. and first uh, Indigenous communities in in Canada. Um, how the backstory is viewed, because certainly the same schools existed in the U.S. and the same trauma. Yeah. Same missing and murdered Indigenous women same and girls thing. crisis in the U.S. Mm -hmm. as there is in Canada as well. 
So yeah, what a you know I know it's only. Would you believe that we only go on your Tuesday? Tuesday. We have another. But there's so much there more to lot. explore. I mean, so this is the Vatican. Ten blocks that way, uh, so we're told, are the documents, the secret documents, the school records. And I should just say. You know, I know I've heard you on the phone. You're trying to get in. <laughs> Access. Get you're, in. you're this close, so well, we'll, I don't see. Know. we'll see. We'll see. But uh, there's a lot to we don't know. I mean, yeah. as much as we think we know, as much as we think we've heard the stories, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. We're we're learning. No, it's pretty powerful. I'll tell you.